you know, it still was like weird to go to the race shop because the guys were hanging out there and the girls weren't supposed to to be around or listen, you know, or if you walked in, it was like, Shh, okay, now Kelly's here, you know, don't be talking about that or whatever. So this is kind of my nostalgic wall, um, kind of a little history of Dale and myself and Carrie racing. These were our late model cars, and this is a picture of us um, when we all three raced against each other and for kind of the same team that my dad put together. How, how neat was that, uh, everybody to be uh, it was pretty crazy um, to be able we to, to do it all together and I don't know that we know what we had then now looking back at it you know to because we were all competitive and doing our own thing and racing against each other and trying to beat each other and trying to be the best one you know and which trying fun. to get the attention of that guy um, yeah which was fun this is out in our front yard actually shortly after this was 1982 doing commercials for Wrangler <laughs> On jeans. There you go. <laughs> yeah, we had no idea what we were doing. We were just smiling and posing. Happy to be there. That's Dale's first check that he won. That's the first race he won at Texas. And he saved the check um, from 1998. That was his first Xfinity win. That was the check. I don't know that he ever cashed it. Explain um, what's housed here at Junior Motorsports. Yeah, sure. So we pretty much um, house here at Junior Motorsports just the nuts and bolts of all of Dale's businesses. So, you know, we have the race team, which is out here in the shop. We have four Xfinity NASCAR teams, um, which is kind of the, the meat of the situation. But we also manage Dale's business, his brand, you know, marketing, um, social, the podcast. Um, through here, we have an accounting department, HR department, IT, just all those kind of things that you need to help support and run your business. So um, lots of different things that happen out of here. So he's now, effectively out of the race car. How does that impact Junior Motorsports and what are your long-term goals for the company? Him being out of the car doesn't really impact us from, from our team standpoint, from Junior Motorsports standpoint. Um, as it relates to like our race teams, it's actually, you know, good to have him in that capacity to be more available and be more, you know, owner driven with us than having to concentrate on driving the race car on Sunday. The NBC contract was a, I think a big deal for us to have that relevancy and to, to stay um, connected to the sport in that way, which is something Dale's just so authentic and passionate about that it just made sense. Um, you know, so I see a lot of opportunity on things like that and, and just diving into more things that we can do with our agency, William Morris. Um, and um, a lot of things that have come his way that we've had to say no, we couldn't do along the years because you know he always stayed so busy that he can now do. You were instrumental, I believe, in bringing Danica Patrick here. Uh, back in the day, you were understood to be the best driver of the uh, Earnhardt kids. You ever wonder if times were different then, what the likelihood is you would have given a shot at it? Yeah, I do. Um, you know, it was such a different time for me when I raced in the mid '90s. Um, women, you know, it still was like weird to go to the race shop because the guys were hanging out there and they were, you know, telling stories or doing whatever they were doing. And that was the time that they got to go talk, guy talk, you know. And the girls weren't supposed to to be around or listen, you know. Or if you walked in, it was like, Shh, okay, now Kelly's here, you know, don't be talking about that or whatever. And society was kind of that way too. I mean, a girl wasn't supposed to be driving race cars. It was for boys, you know. And um, so I do wonder, and I think that's why the Danica thing was so important to me, um, to, to be able to do that with her. And I've joked, you know, back then when I did interviews, I lived vicariously through her um, to kind of, because I, the, I, that would have been awesome to be doing that. I think partly because of our heritage in the sport, I mean, how awesome would it have been to have an Earnhardt girl, you know, do big things in the sport? On the racetrack. I was going to say, but, I know, she, I'm but gonna she already is. On the racetrack. Yeah. <laughs> on the racetrack. But, you know, looking back, it all happened however it was supposed to happen because, you know, if, if losing our dad, now being in this role, that was where I was supposed to be. How, what if I would have went on and been my own race car driver and then, you know, I'd have been doing a whole lot of different things, on a whole different path that wasn't this path, so.